this is the conducting plate made of steel. Two electrodes are connected to the plate and our task is to calculate the resistance of the plate. We know the electrical conductivity of the material and we know the dimensions of the electrodes and the plate. The plate thickness is 1 mm. The total length is 26 mm and the height is 6 mm. This is the simple problem, so I will start quick field and will do the simulation from the very beginning. So this is quick field and I will create the new problem. I choose the folder where the problem will be created and specify the problem name. Next, I should specify the problem type. I have the DC voltage applied to the plate, so I choose the DC conduction problem type. Also, I specify the length units and the thickness of the plate is 1 mm. Now, this is the geometry editor window and here I should do the plate. The plate has a length of 26 millimeters. You can see the coordinates here in the right bottom of the screen. And the height is 6 millimeters. Here is the one contact plate and here is the another contact plate. The geometry model is ready. Now we should assign the labels to geometric objects. This would be the plate. This is the electrode, the positive electrode, and this is the negative electrode. Now I have the geometry model ready and I have the objects labeled. Next I should assign the material properties in boundary conditions to these objects. For the plate I specify the electrical conductivity of the steel. For the negative electrode I specify the voltage. For the positive electrode I specify the voltage. And the last step before we start the solving is to build the finite element mesh. Just press the button and the mesh is ready. Now we can save all the problem files and run the simulation. Here you can see the color map of the current density distribution in the plate. I will adjust the field picture and switch on the color map of electric potential and the vectors of the current density. Now you can see how the current flow, the electric current flow in the plate. To measure the resistance of the plate, I need to know the voltage drop and the current. The voltage drop I already knew. It is 0.02 volts. 
So I should measure the current. I will use the contour tool and build the contour across the current path. Now I can calculate the integral value current through the surface. This is the current crossing this integration surface. And the resistance now is voltage drop divided by the current. Zero point three milli ohms. This is the resistance of this steel plate. Quickfield allows you to change the geometry rapidly and adjust many parameters. For example, I can change the electrode length from 6 to 10 millimeters. Solve the problem again. And this is the result. I will adjust the field picture and measure the current. You see it was 53 amperes and now it's 65, so the resistance now is lower because I changed the electrode size.